Hey everyone, Adam here over at the Digital Gojo Showroom. Now, have you been wondering whether or not your Altura Photo flashes and triggers are compatible with some of the newest mirrorless cameras out there? Well, we got the answer for you, so stay right here. Both Canon and Nikon have just recently introduced some great full-frame mirrorless cameras, and we've had a lot of customers inquiring on whether or not the Altura Photo flashes and triggers are compatible with them. So we are excited to say that yes, all the Altura Photo flashes and accessories are compatible with the newest full-frame mirrorless cameras like the Canon EOS R, RP, the Nikon Z6, and the Nikon Z7. And we also have a new flash coming out from Altura Photo called the AP305 flash. Now this is also compatible with the Sony line of mirrorless cameras. Make sure to stay tuned to the end for a sneak peek of this new flash from Altura Photo. Since some of the flash features may work differently on a mirrorless camera than they would on a DSLR, we've made this video to show you what you need to know on how to get the most out of your Altura Photo flash products when used on a mirrorless camera. Now in this video, we're gonna be using the Nikon Z6, but keep in mind the flash feature usability may differ from camera to camera. All right, so let's start out with the Altura Photo APN1001 flash. This is a Nikon ITTL dedicated flash. Um, and we've had some users say that it works on their camera like the D750, but it wasn't working on their new Z6. And there's a simple explanation for this. Nikon has a silent photography mode built into the menu. And once this is activated, it disables all flash photography. So that doesn't mean just the Altura photo flashes won't work. It even means the Nikon branded flashes won't work as well. And that holds true for Canon as well as Sony. So in order to make your flash work and your flash accessories, make sure to go into the menu and deactivate silent photography mode. So once you've deactivated the silent photo mode of your Nikon Z6, you can go ahead and install your flash on top of the hot shoe. Now you wanna make sure that you push the flash all the way in and it's installed properly. You can go ahead and shoot in TTL or manual. It's easy as that. Now the auto zoom head and ISO di display function will work normally, just like it does on a DSLR camera. But if you're gonna wanna change the flash exposure compensation, you're gonna have to do that from the flash itself. Uh, it won't work when changing it through the camera's menu. The flash also does feature an AF illuminator, which works really well on a DSLR camera when shooting under low light. But on the mirrorless camera, it won't be active. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure to activate your camera's built-in AF assist lamp when shooting under low light. Since the Nikon Z6 and Z7 don't have a built-in pop-up flash, you're not gonna be able to use the S1, S2 optical wireless slave modes on your AP and 1001 flash, unless you have an additional flash on top of the camera. Now, if you don't have or don't want to use an additional flash, don't worry, Altura Photo has you covered uh, with their set of Altura Photo wireless flash triggers. Since the Altura Photo wireless flash triggers are manual, they're compatible with any standard shoe mount flash, TTL or manual, no matter the brand. They're also compatible with any camera with a standard hot shoe. These are a great uh, inexpensive way to get your flash off camera. Now the same rule applies to these triggers as they do with a flash when placing them on top of a camera. Uh, they won't work in the silent photography mode, so you have to deactivate any silent shooting mode of your camera before you can start using them. The wireless triggers can be used in two ways. You can remotely trigger your flash off camera, or you can use it to remotely trigger your camera's shutter. Now the kits are available in either Nikon or Canon. They include a shutter cable that's compatible with most beginner and advanced cameras. Now if you find that the cable isn't compatible with your particular camera, you can find a compatible cable online. So the included cable in the Nikon kit is compatible with the Nikon Z6. All you have to do is plug one end into the receiver and the other into the camera shutter port. Now you have to make sure that the switch is set to camera. Once that's done, you're ready to fire your camera from 100 feet away. And here we have the brand new 
Altura Photo AP305 TTL Flash. Now this is gonna be available soon for your Nikon or Canon DSLR or mirrorless camera. It's even gonna be available for your Sony mirrorless lineup. Uh, this will be available for purchase as a flash only, or you can purchase it in a kit with its dedicated manual trigger, the RT305. What I really like about this flash is that it's compact in size, it's powerful, has a bunch of advanced features like its built-in 2.4 gigahertz transceiver, it's compatible in the high-speed sync mode, and it even has some custom settings. Now, like I mentioned early on, you're gonna have to make sure to disable any silent shooting modes on your mirrorless camera in order for you to operate with this flash. Right here on the Nikon Z6, we have the Altura Photo RT305 transmitter. Now this will allow you to control and trigger your flash unit off camera in the manual mode. If you're looking for TTL functionality, you can purchase an additional flash to be placed onto your camera as the master, and the other one will be off camera as the receiver. Just like the AP1001 series, this flash does feature a built-in AF illuminator. Now it works on your DSLR cameras, but will not function on a mirrorless camera. So I would recommend making sure your built-in AF illuminator of your camera is active when shooting under low light. All in all, the AP305 TTL Flash is an awesome addition to the Altura Photo lineup. It even includes a lot of the features that you've been asking for in the Flash. It's smaller in size, makes it perfect for the DSLR and mirrorless cameras. And this Flash and transmitter will be available soon. Make sure to check out digitalgoja.com for its debut. So if you're looking for a high quality, inexpensive option for your flash lighting needs, look no further than Altura Photo's lineup of flashes and accessories. Please let us know what you think about this new flash and transmitter combo. And if you have any questions regarding compatibility, make sure to leave those in the comments section below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit us up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for updates on new gear, first looks, unboxings, and much more. If you're in the Miami area, come check us out at the Digital Goja showroom. Adam here, keep on shooting. I'll catch you in the next video.